Alrighty, guys and gals, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. Big E back here with you, and we're back on the Torin Druid. He's a dancing fuel, uh, fool. He's a fuel. He needs fuel for dancing. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Mr. Biceps. Greetings. Greetings, says he. I guess he likes this in music. I guess he does. We are at the crossroads. In this episode, we're going to work on some druid-specific things. Quests, even. We have Gathering the Cure. We've got... Uh, we should have five Earthroot. Maybe we do. Uh, we're going to go see about some Kodo horns. Mm -hmm. And we're going to roll on down to the south to find them. And we will check in with Mancrick right here. Lost in battle. With honor. We battle in a small torn camp when we were separated. Try the sentence again. We battled in a small torn camp when we were separated. She held three of the bristlebacks off by herself, but the odds began to overwhelm us. I led some away only to see her overwhelmed by newcomers. In my rage, I turned to face my enemies, but they brought me down easily with their vast numbers. I awoke to a Torin druid tending my wounds. He had come across me on the gold road where I had fallen. Not what it says, but that's what it should say. Please, druid, find some sign of my wife. This is a Hearthstone card. Go for Man, Crick. We're going to leave the other one for right now. Let's go see about some Kodos. And I do know where we can find Man, Crick's wife. Well, her remains. She was slain. Sorry about the spoiler. She was slain. Gonna get these Kodo horns. And we need five Earthroot. Uh, Earthroot even. Might have them in the bag. Silverleaf. We'll take it. This quest is druid specific. Uh, we will learn how to cure poisons, I believe, for completing this. Just gonna. Should go away now? There it goes. You find earth root around the base of trees, generally. There's a copper vein. We'll get this. Hope everyone's doing well today. Happy Monday to you. Yes, it is May 1st. Yes, it is. What do we got going on this month? I'll look at my handy dandy calendar over here. We've got Mother's Day. That's right. That's on the 14th on a Sunday. We also have Memorial Day at the end of the month. It's a U.S. holiday. Got up here another uh, copper. Let's see if we can get this. Ball damage. There's a Kodo. Got some Zerva hanging out. Saw another Druid there. You know you're slow 
when a Kodo can dodge you. Yeah. Do 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 do. Got two horns. Mm-hmm. Let's keep our demoralizing roar up. Started a new Let's Play on the channel. Yep. Sure did. There's a third one. It's a retail Let's Play as well. Yes, it is. It's probably going to be short-lived because it is a hardcore challenge. Iron Man Challenge, if you're curious, came out yesterday, I do believe. It was a spur-of-the-moment decision. I just did it. I have to say, the Goblin starting area, not the new one, uh, it's completely nuts. It is completely insane. Someone's saying that I'll be using some of it for my highlight reels. Yeah. These Kodos are just, uh, they are just in a specific area. Well, let's go discover the fate of Mancrick's wife. Let's, we'll do that for, uh, for a brother. He is an orc. That's okay. Da, da, da. Hello there. Torin Druid. Hello. How are you? Hi. How's it going? There you go. Cheetah greetings, man. <laughs> I love it. All right. Here she is, unfortunately. Her remains. The body is that of a female orc warrior. It is clear that she died in battle, probably against the quill boar in the area. You turn the body over and see the marks from blades and spells upon the deceased orc, her armor all but destroyed, her hair matted to her face. Based on Mancrick's description of her, there is no doubt in your mind that this was his wife. He will be upset by the news, but you are sure he should know the truth. beaten corpse. It's interesting that we cannot get what we need from the storm snouts. Quite interesting. You guys are pretty brave just running right by a cheetah. Mm -hmm. Hello there. A little something for you. You there, sir. Troll rogue. There you are. Enjoy that, my friend. I gave it to you. Over here. I gave it to you. There you go. We got a little wave. Yeah. Makes me happy. Can we get this? Oh, we can't get silver yet. We got to keep on top of it. Yes, we do. Where else can we find some Kodo? Apparently over on this side. Let's go check on this side, I suppose. Kodo, Horns, and Earthroot. Mm -hmm. We also have... Uh, we have two Druid quests. We ha also have... Um, uh, our Aquatic Form. Mm-hmm. That's going to be a little bit of a journey for us. We'll get it done. Why this is not... It's not sticking. There it goes. Yeah, the, the uh, this add-on I have, it hides all of your other 
add-on buttons. It uh, combines them into one, but sometimes it doesn't. It kind of gets stuck like it is now, but if, if you just hold it over the map, it generally... Uh, I don't know. It's not working too well today. There it goes. I want to get all this that we can here. Yeah, so the new uh the new let's play is in retail. And I think it's one of the only characters that we've not played on the channel. Uh, it's a goblin. Yeah. As I mentioned. Don't want to pull this if I can help it. They got a little stun they do. Mage Royal. We're going to have to fight for it. We're going to have to fight for our right to Mage Royal? I think so. Look at everything closing in on us here. It's too far away. I'm out of range. Come on now. What I could do here is do thorns. I need to get closer. There we go. All right, what do we need? We need one more coat of horn. There he is right here. I uh, don't have thorns up. There we are. Alrighty. We could hearth back, but I want to uh, see if I can get some earth root here. I can't pull them out of the bank. I'm certain. Well, I'm not actually not certain. I'm hoping we have five in there. I think we, we've got some. Gonna have here. Is that gonna be copper? Probably. Hey, hello there. What have we got here? Oh, silver leaf. Level 80, Champion of the Frozen Wastes. What's up, brother? A little fishing. Probably sell it on the auction house. Who knows? Maybe he's trying to get his cooking up. He might be fishing schools, uh, schools of fish. Silver leaf. Da, 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 da. Oh, is that what's his name? 
What's Herzl? I think there's a quest to kill that, that mob. Maybe. I wonder if we could um let's let's run into the um the Wailing Caverns. You don't have to go into the instance to get the serpent bloom. Let's see if we can get some. Wouldn't mind doing a Wailing Caverns. But I kinda wanna go as DPS. Damn it, just disappeared. What was that? That's uh, Briarthorn. Getting all kinds of herbs today. I think we're okay in here. Deviant Creeper. A bunch of quests up above us. Quite a few. Oh, it's a level 11. Really? Yeah, that's what we need right here. Oh. They range from level 11 to 16. Looks like. And they run away. This one runs away. Getting pretty wrecked right here. They do run away. Get a little heal. Regrowth. Hey, brother. How's it going? There you are. Enjoy that, my friend. Oh, thank you very much for your intellect. Appreciate that. Oh, no. We've got a stealthy mob right there that I did not even see. This might be a little tough here. Keep that up. Also diseased. What if I accidentally hit the snake there? I might have. Well, now I did. <laughs> Sorry about that little snakey. Gotta watch out for the stalkers. Coming to get my stuff, man. My Mage Royal. My Mage Royal. What do we have here? Mad Maglish. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen him before. Uh, let me get my thorns up here. Loveless heat, 22. I don't want to take his serpent bloom. Yeah, I don't want to be a dick. 
Not the kind of player that I am. He was obviously fighting for it, so. There's another one. Damn it. Dude, I thought I was being attacked by an imp. <laughs> no. He was just helping us out. He probably has it on aggressive, maybe. Do you have anything back here? No, we do not. Oh, yes, we do. Bruiseweed. And a serpent bloom, a bloom right underneath of it. Very nice. Need quite a few of these. Got my bruise weed. What is this? I've never noticed this before. I can't use that. What if you could get through there? Maybe a gnome could get under there? I don't know. Interesting. It's like a little hidden place, perhaps. These snakes are acting like they're in combat. Might have to finish this one up later. Yeah, got a lot of people farming them. Well, I don't want to say farming them, but trying to get them. What the deal is with this guy? Let's see. Maybe he drops a quest or something? Oh, he put us to sleep there. Resist, huh? Put me to sleep again. He doesn't drop anything. It must be a quest. Maybe you... I don't know. No idea. A warlock? Hello there. There you are. Yeah, we'll do that quest later. Maybe we can uh, actually run... Wailing Caverns. What I still would like to do Ragefire Chasm, but I think we might be, uh, I don't know, maybe even over-leveled for it. I could do it as a tank, I suppose. Uh, I would probably want to do it right away. I don't want mobs to be gray for me in there. But it says it's um, 13 through 16... So, I'm already over-leveled, if, if that's accurate. Alright, let's go talk to Mancrick. 
hopefully I've got five earth root in the bank. We didn't get lucky at all. We didn't get one single earth root there. Anyway, it's a Sunday for me. Sunday morning. I'm easy like Sunday morning. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I, don't, I might be live streaming today. You guys will know because it happened yesterday. You yeah. Sub sub. Strength. I understand. Thank you, Druid. That's it, man. I you expected like something a little more here. For the horde. Yeah. Dabu. I guess he maybe he knew, right? He just knew what had happened there. All right, here's what we're going to do. Uh, try again. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to fly. Um, there we are. Strength and honor. Two ogre more. Strength. And we're going to check the bank. These herbs. Uh, actually, where do we turn these in at? I think we turn them in. Do we have to go all the way to? What you call it? Um. No, Tonga. Okay. He's at the crossroads. Glad I didn't use my Hearthstone then. I just want to see what's going on with the. Uh, I haven't turned this on in a while. There it is. Uh, the light is. Right. Pretty sad looking thing. I don't have the overhead light on right now, but that is uh that's the little aquarium. And you can't see there's a uh, a cherry shrimp in there or a skittle shrimp. Neocardina, Cardina, I think they're called. But um just one I had 12 of them, only one is left. He th seems to be doing well. However, I'm going to be getting rid of that aquarium. Well, not getting rid of it, but um, I did order a... Um, I've got a 10-gallon aquarium coming. I think it's coming Tuesday. I got most of the things for it already. And I'm going to make it a live plant aquarium. Never done that before, but I've got some... Some um, bio... Substrate. It's great for plant roots. I've got live plants coming. I've got some treatment for the water and some, you know, water fertilizer. Well, I don't know what it's called. Something. something. And I'm going to let it run. I'm going to get it set up with the live plants. And I'm going to let it run for at least three weeks, I think. And then I'm going to add a uh, few more shrimp. A couple of snails, maybe. Maybe one snail. And then a couple of social fish. Yeah, friendly social fish. See how we do there. McGraw. McGraw. Do we have earth root? Yes, we do. We just need five. There we are. I need to do some auction house stuff. We got to do a lot of stuff. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's see if we can sell some of this. Um... Mm-hmm. You know what? Just give me everything. Thunder Lizard Tales says to auction it. This stuff I'm saving because we can actually cook it. And just one piece of light leather. I may as well save that. Alrighty. Victory. Victory. <laughs> Let's go smelt some stuff really quick. I wish there was a place to smelt up here, but I don't think there is. Maybe post a few things on the auction house. Probably do that off camera, but l let me just get stuff smelted. There 
is one here. Yeah, man. The sh I probably would have more shrimp survive, but I was in a hurry. I only let the aquarium... It only was running for an hour, maybe. I treated the water and everything. I, I don't know what was wrong with me. I put them in there way too quick. But I wanted to get them in there because they had been shipped to me from a store... And they were in this bag, you know, wrapped up and everything for two days. And I just felt like, I just felt bad for them. But in hindsight, or even a little more foresight, I probably just could have left my aquarium set a little bit better. Balance out and then uh, put them in there. But it's okay. Looks like we're pretty close to level 18. Dun, dun, dun. Make sure I don't accidentally sell my other earth root there. It's interesting that a Kodo horn fragment is exactly the same as rough stone. Let's check in with the miner trainer just to make sure. Can we get anything? Yes, we can. We can get smelt bronze and smelt tin. We like that. Go forth to victory. Do I have any of that on me? I do not. Well, I may as well do... Uh, let me do my auction house stuff because I do need to hearth back. If we hearth back to the crossroads, we can go and turn this quest in. And uh, see what see where that takes us. Maybe next episode we can do Trial of the Sea Lion. Sea form's pretty... It can be handy. It's not like you use it all the time, but... It'll help us get some Strangle Thorn if we get an underwater quest. There's always a handful of underwater quests that you have to do. Super helpful. Let's see what's going on at the auction house here. Da, da, da. Alrighty. I'm not going to do a scan because it would take a long time. This is the white main server dominated by the horde, so there's lots of horde on the server. Yeah, we got to do that. See if we can sell some of this. See what they want for that. Holy moly. Maybe we'll get that. Things are... The prices are really jacked up. Uh, let's separate this. Need to keep five of them. The rest of these... I'll be really surprised if I can uh, actually sell this stuff. Tiger's Eye... I might be able to make some gold here. Silver leaf. Now, why is that <laughs> such a low price? All the other stuff is jacked up so high. I, I'm going to hold off on that. I'm not going to sell that. Well, hang, I'll hang on to the silver leaf. What about peace bloom? Same thing. Hold off on that one as well. Quest items. Deviate scale. That says to vendor it. Bruise weed. Briar Thorn. It's not too bad, I suppose. Swift Thistle. And we'll just be getting rid of that. And that. And that. And that. That Kodo leather. Anybody want that? Dude! <laughs> what the fuck, man? 
What is going on here? Hold on. I have to see something here. Let's see what this is going. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, that's thin. Now, where's the one I just saw? Oh. Maybe somebody literally just pulled it off. I know that's that's kind of weird. Coda meat is an ingredient, but what the fuck, man? Hold on. Why am I seeing those ridiculous prices? Maybe I should be scanning first here. Probably should. Um, bundle of reports. That's a quest item. Oh, I think I... Man, I may have messed up here. Yeah, I may have messed up by not scanning first. Because it's, it's giving me ridiculous prices. All right, I guess that's it for now. Um, this stuff down here will just sell light feathers I don't really care about. All right, let's, uh, we'll sell really quick, and then we'll hearth back. And, of course, we have to, uh, we've got to take care of him. He can drop green items. You guys don't know that. I've mentioned it before. Yeah, he can drop, like, a green staff. He usually drops garbage like that. That's right, it automatically sells for me. Okay, looks like we're good to, good to go on drinks still. Let's go turn this quest in. There's Mogra. Excellent name. It's Dot Sickle. The hell? Why won't? Sometimes my character doesn't want to pop out of form. Peace. Here we go, man. Gathering the cure. Have you got the reagents I need to make the salve? The gazelles aren't getting any better on their own, so we better not tarry. I do. This is good, biceps. So much so that it should be enough to make some ample doses of the salve, at least to start to make a difference. Making a cure for poisons can be quite difficult at times because each one often requires a very specific antidote to counteract it. Imagine being able to cure a poison at will without having to worry about the exact ingredients of what the antidote must be. Now, let me get to work. Go in. I was able to make enough salve for 10 doses of curing biceps. While I work with local authorities to try and make some more salve, I'd like to I'd like for you to help us get a head start. All around the northern barrens are sickly gazelles. Use the salve on them and cure their malaise. Dendrite Starblaze and Moongrate will want to talk to you when you're done, I'm sure. Please extend our thanks to the Cenarian Circle there. And let me say thanks to you directly for the help you've given. Alrighty. We will do this. Oh, hello there. Get a little offhand here. That's interesting. We can use an offhand because we just have a main hand. Yeah, man. Walk with the earth. We'll definitely do that. It's like a pretty decent one, too. All right, we're going to wrap it up. Call this an episode. We kind of like this spot right here. Yes, we do. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. You guys and gals take care. Biceps and myself will see you again this coming Wednesday. Good journey. Good journey. Take care. Peace.